What's going on gamers? Today we're going over how to set up Infinity Evolved. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our Minecraft videos. Remember the good old vanilla days, mining with your friends, not a care in the world? You and your friends think there's no way this could get better, right? This is where modded comes in. Traditional vanilla mechanics mixed with tons of new items and a whole new adventure, well you'll never want to look back from modded Minecraft. Are you tired of the same vanilla experience? Looking for something maybe new and bold and exciting to play with your friends? Well, Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved is for you. From building massive nuclear reactors to exploring woodlands and learning the most dangerous spells from Forbidden Magic, there's something truly for everyone. Also, with the inbuilt expert mode for those who want to challenge, you will never be bored with this pack. FTP Infinity Evolved contains over 150 mods and is great for any sort of Minecrafter, and it's best suited for small to medium sized servers. To install FTB on your Apex panel, you're first going to need to head to your server and stop it with the red stop button. Next, you're going to scroll down to the jar file field and type in the search box, FTB Infinity Evolved. It'll be the first selection that you can see. You're going to go ahead and click it, then you'll select change version, then you will select create a new world, and finally you're going to click restart now, and that'll get your server up and running. To install it on your client side, you're first going to need to head to the FTB website, which is in the description below, and download your respective operating system. From there, you're going to launch up the program and go to the Browse tab on the left-hand side. In the search bar, you're going to type up Infinity Evolved, and it'll be one of the first options that appears under FTB Mod Packs. You're going to select it, hit Install, and once it's uninstalling, you'll be able to run it from My Mod Packs. The first thing that we're going to look at is the expert command. This sets Infinity Evolved apart by being able to select how intense you want your modded experience to be. The command is slash FTB underscore mode set expert. This will set your game mode to expert, which is a big challenge that we'll get to later. The command to switch it back is essentially the same thing, except instead of expert being the last word, you're going to type slash FTB underscore mode set normal. This will set your game back to normal, which is the basic Infinity Evolved experience. The next command we're looking at is slash HQM quest. This is essentially just to get your quest started in case they are not working from the beginning. Finally, the last one we're gonna check for now is slash forge TPS, which is just checking your ticks per second. This is handy when you wanna check if your server's running optimally, which is about 20 TPS. The next thing we're going to look at is the difference between normal and expert. Normal is the typical modded experience where there's no recipe changes or major gameplay changes. However, things get more complicated when it comes to expert. Expert changes a lot about the game, which includes increasing the resource needs for recipes, disabling some cheat recipes. For example, you'll need compressed cobblestone in order to make a regular furnace. Or even when you're on expert mode, only one wood log will give you two planks. That's it. So good luck. FTB Infinity Evolved being such a dense pack as previously mentioned, well, the limits are truly up to your imagination. Whether you're into making industrial product lines using industrial craft, or maybe you're like me and you want to try out some awesome new parkour strats with the portal gun, which can be really challenging. And if you're not a techie, don't worry, there's still plenty for you to do with the witchery mod for example where you can create potions and different spell casting abilities or maybe you're into the questing unlike some packs which progression is solely down to you this pack offers a chance for a exciting questing mode the mode itself has 226 total quests within infinity evolve each one tailored specifically by the mod team to be challenging and fun and exciting but don't expect the most overpowered gear at first. It'll take time to get the fancy items that come down the line. The first quest alone is just gathering 16 wood logs and your only reward is a stone axe. 
so you can imagine how difficult these quests may get in the future. And good luck! Now I'll be going over the main common issue, which the server can get stuck on startup. All you need to do to fix this is head back to your server panel, you're going to click the stop button, you're going to head to the console on the left hand side, you're going to type in the bar slash fml space confirm. This will get your server loaded properly after a couple of seconds and there will be no more problems, as long as your server is back online that is. Well, Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved is an excellent pack created by the Feed the Beast team for their 1.7.10 range of packs. With magic and technology, exploration, and balanced resource gathering, it's ideal for any Minecrafter that's been looking for something to spice up their playthroughs. You'll no doubt get hours and hours of fun with your friends. That'll do it for this video. As always, I hope that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.